world will never be the same once you see it through the eyes of Fairway Frank. Frank, we'll sell London broils, New York strip steaks, pork chops, pork steaks. Frank's mama always said, life is like a T-bone steak. When you shop at Fairway, you know exactly what you're going to get. When your Iowa's dealer for life, you do things different. And as your dealer for life, we've driven together for over 45 years. Carl Chevrolet, we're proud of where we're from. We created a premium car buying experience easy for anyone. We serve more Iowans than ever with more locations and more brands. So together, let's drive from your first car to your last car, making memories along the way. We'll always be your dealer for life. Hey guys, it's Chris Williams here with Cyclone Fanatic telling you about one of my favorite companies that I've worked with. And I hire them all the time. Country Landscapes, they're located up in Ames, but they have offices in Eastern Iowa as well, over in North Liberty. Got one up in Clear Lake. I've hired Country Landscapes to do all the landscaping in my front yard, but I've also hired them to come over and give me advice on planting trees in my front and backyard. Stuff I don't really know about, but boy, the folks at Country Landscapes are experts in this field field. They also have a skilled stone mason division that creates outdoor living and cooking spaces. That's something I need to look into. Check them out. Country Landscapes. You want that dream fire pit in your backyard? That's an idea for this spring. Country Landscapes supporting our March Madness coverage of the Cyclones here on the Cyclone Fanatic Podcast Network. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to a little instant reaction to Iowa State's NCAA tournament draw. I'll be doing this for the women, too, once we hear it. Hey, Dirks, get out of there. Sorry. This is just a classic Williams um, live broadcast. Is my dog just got into some styrofoam, little snow things. Oh, Christ. Welcome to the show. I want to thank our friends who are bringing you our coverage of March Madness for the Cyclones. Carl Auto Group, Country Landscapes, Fairway Meat and Grocery, Keen Project Solutions, and our friends at Central States Roofing. It's going to be a busy night. We're going to have full coverage. Uh, Connor and Rob are in place in Ames getting interviews right now. They'll do the same with the women. And then Bloom and I are going to do our show in addition to the reaction show. So just you can just hang out here with us at Cyclone Fanatic all night. So um aiden's gonna pull up the bracket here and i'm gonna i'm gonna talk you through it i it's impossible for me to get my personal feelings aside on this because the head coach at south dakota state is a good friend of mine uh, he's an iowa state guy his name's eric henderson he was on greg mcdermott's staff he was then on tj Otzelberger's staff at south dakota state and this just sucks because there's a lot of uh, Brian Peterson's on that South Dakota State staff, a former Cyclone. Uh, there's just so many connections here in this game. And I just, I hate that they do this because the overwhelming majority of the country doesn't give a shit that these two teams have these connections. They're just poking and prodding at people. And now it's like you have really close friends that have to go against each other in the NCAA tournament. Whatever. Most people don't care. Um, the second round game, they do the same thing with Darren DeVries and Drake, another Greg McDermott guy. They're just jacking with us. So um, this is a brutal draw. You get BYU as a six. Um, you get Illinois as a three. It's a really good team. That could be your potential Sweet 16 team uh, against the Illini. And you've got to... The, the worst part of this is, like, we're all wanting Iowa State to get to a Final Four, right? Like, that's the goal is to get to a Final Four. Well, you get UConn in your region, and you have to go east. Clearly, what happened over the weekend didn't mean much. So, I mean, what are we doing with these conference tournaments? Iowa State just blew out three really good teams. They weren't even games. Iowa State blew them out, and they really didn't move. I mean, maybe the only thing I could think of is that Iowa State had dropped to like a middle three 
and had to climb their way back up there. So listen, um, I don't think Iowa state should have got the one. I'm not saying that, uh, Andrew, thank you for all the people who are watching on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. I'm not saying Iowa state should have got a one seed, not making that argument. I hate when they do the QT stuff and it's just like, again, even you guys who are, who are my fanatics here, right? Y'all are nuts. Um, most of you don't even care about the personal stuff. Otz and Hendo are going to say the same thing. We don't care. But it just, it, it takes away. It, it The thing is that these people who are watching the tournament, are, they don't care. Nobody cares. Like, maybe it's a storyline for us on two guys named Chris and Cyclone Fanatic. And, like, right? Like, we'll talk about it. But, like, people don't care about that. Why are we doing this? Why? Like, why? The Drake thing is, like, that makes a little more sense to me why you would do that. Because we thought they were going to do that last year. Do you remember that? We thought they were going to put Drake against Iowa State last year. Um, that's kind of like whatever to me. Uh, I just, I hate it. I, I know, and, and I and I understand too, guys. Nobody's more critical of himself than me. I'm being way overly emotional about this, and I will calm down. I just, it pisses me off. It pisses me off to no end. Um, yeah, and I'm not watching. Thanks, Garrett, who's watching on YouTube, says they just said that Iowa State didn't get a number one seed because of the non-conference. That's fair. I, I'm I'm okay with that. I, I it's a fair critique. It's a fair critique. So the good thing is when you look at it to to get to the Elite Eight at least, even the Final Four, like Iowa State can beat any of those teams. That'll be hard. I don't necessarily know if the Illinois matchup, you know, they don't really defend. When they decide they want to defend, they're pretty good. Iowa State's guards can match up with them. I was hoping, like, to me, the best case scenario would be Iowa State is a two in Purdue's region in the Midwest. That's what I was hoping for. And instead, you get sent out east uh, to take on the defending national champs potentially in a game. But, you know, obviously work has to be done before then. And, and things just got really freaking dramatic around here because of the committee. So, anyways, uh, that's my take on it. That's my take on it. I wanted Purdue's ass because uh, I think Iowa State would have run them up and down the floor. And um, the UConn's a really tough matchup. That's I think UConn's the second best team in the country behind Houston, and Iowa State just beat Houston by 30 little bit of an anomaly, right? I don't think anybody thinks Iowa State would beat Houston by 30 again. I just... What are we doing with these conference tournaments? They don't, like... like did, did, did Illinois get anything for today? Like I don't know what they mean, and I don't know what they should mean. Should it mean more than the rest of the season leading up to it? Should it mean more than an entire non-conference slate that was really bad for Iowa State? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I don't like the cutesy stuff. That's what I don't like. I don't like the cutesy stuff. You're putting Greg McDermott's entire coaching tree is basically in Omaha to beat up on each other. I hate that. Do you guys like that? Maybe you you guys tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. Do you fans like that? And I guarantee it. And maybe TJ will use. I I, I know it. TJ will use this to his advantage or at least try. But now you got two opponents that are just, well, the Drake thing's easy. Well, they don't want to play us and they're not wrong, right? Iowa, Iowa State don't play them anymore. Uh, so that, you know, that they'll be licking their chops, which is fine. It's the tournament. Everybody's trying to beat everyone. Uh, I, I, I just, I, okay, thank you. Everybody is agreeing with me in this that you guys don't, don't like it either. I hate it. <laughs> It just, it, again, we all get it here. And may, you guys probably don't. There's probably many of you who had no idea the Hendo connection and all that stuff. Hendo spent a lot of his time in Ames. Like, I, I've always thought if TJ were ever to leave, Hendo could potentially be the next head coach at Iowa State. So much I think of this guy. Um, So he's like a friend of Iowa State. This is not, this is a guy who loves Iowa State. Loves everything about it. I will say South Dakota State's a really cool fan base. 
I've been, spent a lot of time in Brookings when TJ was there. I've done the Summit League tournament a couple years, and they are like a little mini Ames in Iowa State. Ag stuff. They're really cool people. I love the Jacks. I've got like four Jacks polos. God, I got to get rid of those for the week. I can't even have them around. I can't. I can't have that South Dakota State gear in my closet. We got to get rid of it. Sorry, my wife's sitting right. I, I can't have it. Like, it, it cannot be there. I'm sorry, Hendo. I'm taking it to Goodwill for a week at least. And then you can, maybe I'll wear some more as long as Iowa State wins. I'm just kidding, kind of. Uh. Aiden, am I missing anything? Do you need any more analysis from me? Oh, you just got named uh, first four out, so they missed the tournament. Miss, oh, you missed the tournament? Any other Big 12 things? I haven't seen the entire second half of the bracket because I've been here whining to all of you guys. Just crying like a little baby with this draw. Honestly, like I'm not sure Oklahoma... They kind of did it to themselves, but what do you know? <sighs> Indiana State also first four out. No shit. Well, they got screwed because there are all these upsets in these mid-major tournaments. And right. I have been on the record that I thought the Valley deserved two teams, but. <sighs> all right. Can we pick it back up now? Hones are two seed. Just won the Big 12 tournament. They beat every team. Just beat the piss out of everybody. We're all right. We're all right. Uh, Williams and Bloom coming up tonight. I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here with the women. That announcement show is coming up right after this, right? Aiden, do we know this? Do we know what time that is? Yeah, 6 o'clock on ESPN, I think. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with the women. I'm going to log off here, get a little work done. And um, Aiden, if you don't mind, just tweeting out the YouTube link. We don't need to put this up on the feed. And yeah, Williams and Bloom will be live, Joey. Let me just connect with Bloom and we'll see what time. But we are going to go live here at a respectable time, hopefully around like 7 o'clock. That is the goal. So, oh, it, Seth is saying the women's show is at 7. Anyways, we'll figure it out. Simon wants Williams and Bloom live with alcohol. Here's the situation. I could handle that, but I ran into Brent Bloom like four times in Kansas City, and I don't think he's going to be drinking for two months. But Bloom, it was like a, it was like the damn movie, old school. Um, you know, he was like Frank the Tank down there in Kansas City this weekend. He was completely out of control. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. Speaking of Bloom. We are doing a party. Um, this is happening. It is for sure now. Lovely Crystal Bloom just sent me the graphic. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Beer Can Alley in Omaha is in the Capital District. It's right by the arena there. From 5 to 7, we are having a We Will Cyclone Fanatic tip-off party. Williams and Bloom doing a live party podcast at six o'clock live podcast at six o'clock everybody is welcome we are not going to charge we're going to do free will donations as opposed to the um ticket deal because it's a huge place and we're gonna have a ton of people there and we want more of the merrier so let's get after it um i'll be back after the women's tournament and or after the women's tournament draw williams and bloom will be live i'm gonna be live for like four hours tonight just talking hoops with you guys god bless y'all Thank you for hanging out with us here. Jesus, there's like 6,000 people on here. It's amazing. What are you, you guys not have anything better to do with your life than hang out with me? I'm kidding. Appreciate our great sponsors, Carl Auto Group, Country Landscapes, Fairway Meat and Grocery, Central States Roofing, Keen Project Solutions. I'll be back here in like an hour. Later.